Today's guest is Jo Packham, Editor-in-Chief of Where Women Cook and Where Women Create, and she loves books, and so she has a fantastic tutorial today on how to use fabric to cover your books. So welcome, Jo. Thank you very much. So Easy show enough. me how you get started and how you make this project. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is measure your book covers, and what you have to be aware of when you decide which books you're going to cover is the width of the spine because they're very, very different. Some are really wide, some are thinner. If it's a journal to keep your notes in or your recipes, they're really, really thin. The second thing you have to be aware of is that whether or not the book, the spine will bend all the way back. If it won't and you really want to cover it, I can show you a secret, but your life will be a whole lot easier if, if the spine will bend. One like that. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is measure your book so that you can cut your fabric. Get your handy dandy little post-it notes and your pen so you can keep notes. You want, I'm going to do this book right here because this is actually the one we're going to cover. So you measure from top to bottom. So this one is, um, is 8 inches and you write book at the top so you know which measurements they are. 8 inches, and I always put an arrow so that I know which direction it goes. Now when you're measuring the circumference of the book, you put the tape measure on one edge here, so you can see that. Wrap it around evenly, and then just to the edge of the other one, so this one's 17 inches. Okay. So 17 inches with the arrow going the other way. Okay, now when you're doing the book cover, you have, you're going to add flaps. You can do really wide flaps, like Which this. I love. These mm -hmm. are more difficult, but I can show you how to do that. Or really narrow flaps. I don't like these quite as well, but They're a little nobody easier sees to them, do. Yeah. yeah. So whatever the width is, the standard width of a flap, if you were to buy these, is two inches. So, and it has a little fold over, so which is like a quarter of an inch on each side. So you're gonna add two and a half for each side, which is five inches, so to your 17 inches, you're gonna add five inches, which is 22. And you need a good solid, thank you, sorry. Um, for the top, for this measurement from top to bottom, you need a good solid two inches on either side, and I'll show you why, but it's eight plus two and two, which is four, so you're gonna, that measurement's 12. So you're gonna cut a piece of fabric that's 12 inches by 22 inches. Which and we we've just done that. Okay, now you got this. interfacing. Tell everyone what um, we do interfacing with this. is is fabulous if you love interfacing. Um, I've just learned how to use interfacing, but interfacing and, and it gives your fabric more structure. <laughs> it does, and on your big books that's important, or if your fabric is see through that's important. On the little books, I don't like the interfacing as well. I like the feel of just the cover. So, but you cut your interfacing. For those of you who don't know, fusible interfacing is sticky on one side and not the other side, and the side that's fusible is the shiny side. And so, and you cut your interfacing just a tiny bit smaller on each side, all the way around. Make sure it faces your fabric. You yeah. don't want to iron. I did the iron it, stuff. and it melts right to your fabric, <laughs> or right to your iron. It's yes. fabulous, yes. <laughs> So when you iron interfacing on, there's a little secret that you want to do, and that is you don't do this, and you hold it right on top for 10 seconds or something. And so you have to go the whole length and both sides. So now you're going to fold your edges over so that it's wrong sides together. This is going to be the nice edge on your flap, right? And I iron everything so that I have a nice clean edge to work with. If you use fabric with a printed um, design on it, you can use these as your stitching lines and your fold lines. But with something like this, I just eyeball it. And then, Cindy, you sew this down. Just okay, we'll tack both our sides, sides down. Got our two sides sewn in place. 
Okay, now if I were doing this at home, I would do this step with every piece of fabric. I do all the fabrics with the same step so that I have it. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to make your flap. So you're going to put it wrong side on the ground. <laughs> on the ground. On this beautiful <laughs> mat. <laughs> and um, you're going to measure your flaps. Now you can use your measurements if you want to. I kind of like to eyeball mine. So I put my book here and I fold it. And then the secret to cover, book covers is to always keep your pages up. Don't ever let your pages fall because then your spine becomes a different size. So I just eyeball it so they're all both about the same. Great tip. Okay, when it's right there, when it's the same, I get a pin and I pin it in place so I know where it is. And, I've got some pins over and here. then I press it. Hold on. So you're working with one side at a time. You find that easier. You have to work with one side at a time because of the way you have to measure to make sure the book fits. If you try to do all the sides and then do it, your book won't fit. And it's that's coming. why people get frustrated with um, fabric book covers. So you put your book back in and center it from top to bottom. You can measure it if you want to, but I just eyeball it. And then you put another you pin go. in. And the way you do this is you put your finger against the top of the book right here so that your book will slide in. This is really important and that's where you mark to sew. If you mark to sew on the top of the book, your book won't go in. So it goes down over the side. It's just a fraction of an inch but it makes it so it's And uneven. you do it on the bottom too? Not, no, Not just yet. on the top first. You're going to do this line first. Stitch it closed. I know that expert seamstresses are going to want to do the top and the bottom. Don't do the top and the bottom. And make sure that you backstitch so that the edges of the stitches are really, really secure because the pressure from the cover stretches, it'll tear it. Okay, now put your book back in and push it up against your stitching line. And then take and another pin up. and on the bottom of your book, that back yeah, there. that becomes your next stitching line. Okay, one at a time. Okay, so this goes in here, slides in perfectly. There you go. Okay, now keep your pages up. I'll hold these. Okay, and fold this over and pull it so it's a little bit snug. Pin front to back. Take it out. iron it. I'm a fanatic about ironing because it makes my life so much simpler and everything just fits better. So now you're going to put it back in. Put this one back in here. Slide it right in. So it's even. Bend your book. Slide this one in. Now you're going to mark your next stitching line. So push your book up against this. And you don't have to hold the spines this time, correct? Yes. Good you job. Do. Okay. <laughs> yes, you do have to hold the spine. And make sure you put your pin in on the side of the book, not on the top of the binding. Right there. So I'm not, gonna, not yet. Not yet. Not One yet. at a time. One at a I time. I want to move ahead. Yeah, everybody does. I want to move ahead. But it's the little secret that keeps your book fitting absolutely perfectly and snug. And it makes sense. It really does. Because if you go ahead and sew it, it can even an eighth of an inch makes a big difference. The book either pulls, I actually broke the spine on one of the books, or it just looks a little bit sloppy and isn't tight. And if you'll just do one side at a time, then you have a perfect project. Okay, so Great now you've tip. got three sizes, three sides. Now you're going to put, slide this one in. Slide this one in, put this up, okay. And there's our pin. And make sure us. it's, yeah, right on the right inside, right on, right, right there. perfect. Okay, right okay. there. Take your book out. Okay, now one final awesome. fitting is, you're gonna slide this side in, bend your book back, and slide this side in. Great little tips. You've got nice, tight cover, so take this out. Pull our pins out. All your pins out. 
Okay, turn this inside out. Now you're not going to trim your seams because I'm going to show you why. And don't worry about poking your corners out too much because your book will do that. Now you have a really nice wide seam, um, seam allowance here, but you're not going to trim it because this is what you're going to do. You're going to take, I use this metal ruler, which I love because it acts like a steamer on the inside. You put it inside of your book cover and make sure that one edge is on this side on your seam and one edge is on this side. And then you pull it tight and it gives you a really nice, clean, pressed edge for the edge of your book so that your blue cover or your green cover doesn't show through. And you do that on both sides. And I love the idea of having a metal ruler. I'm going to have to get me one of those. That's use, a great tip. I use a metal ruler for everything because it acts like that extra heat to make a really nice clean seam. Yeah, that's okay. an excellent tip. Now my mom was a dressmaker, so she would not allow raw edges, but if that doesn't bother you, you're good. If it does bother you, all you have to do is fold it under, press it again, put a little glue right here, fold it down, and then you have a nice clean edge. Okay, now you're going to put your book inside. See this seam. You want to make sure this is on the bottom so that book. this lays flat. So all you do is slide your book in, top and bottom. Bend your spine. This is why it's so important. Oh, sorry. You didn't get that. <laughs> There you go. Perfectly snug fit. Close it and your book fits perfectly. That looks fantastic. And you've got a bigger size. I'm going to show you. This is a bigger size spine. It doesn't bend quite as well. And um, I love these big wide flaps. So what you do when you're sewing your inside seam, you only sew it halfway and then you leave this open so that it's really easy to get your book in and out of when it's, it's only halfway sewing. So, so that way you can do the wide flaps if you like. So thank you, Joe, for this great tutorial on fabric book covers. For other tutorials like this, subscribe to Riley Blake Design's YouTube channel.